first of all why would you go to sleep knowing you got a hole in your house why would you do that why why <laughs> like it didn't make any sense to me hey besties and welcome back to my channel if you're new make sure you guys subscribe and also give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below hit that bell so you can be notified for when i post the next video i post because trust me you do not want to miss it and also make sure you guys go follow your girl all of my social media accounts so will be in the description down below so make sure you guys go give your girl a follow if you don't follow me already as you guys can see by the title today is going to be part two of the story time about my ex cheating on me if you guys haven't watched part one make sure you guys go watch part one then come back and watch part two so enough of the talking let's get straight into this video so a little bit of what i told you guys about part one is that my ex was a liar and he was a cheater that's all he did our whole relationship and we were together for seven months and all he did was lie and cheat sick right so in this story time i'm going to be telling y'all about the time where he gave a girl a ride and she stole his car okay so this took place back in i think if i'm not mistaken september sometime in september and like i told y'all in part one my i will always go over my ex house thursday and come home sunday but then he started working friday to fridays monday through friday so i will go over there friday after he get off work and then go home sunday so just the weekend basically so this one day in particular i think it was a wednesday night it was either a wednesday or thursday night it's late at night. I'm at home minding my business because, like I said, I was at home and I wasn't working at the time. So I was always at home just doing whatever I was doing. And I remember it was late at night. Texting him and calling him. One thing about us women, when we get a feeling, we the feeling is always right. Like, our t intuition is always right. Like, we every time we feel something, the, it turns out to be the case. But I don't know why. I was just at home chilling in my room and I was just thinking like, hmm, I just got a feeling that something is up. And it turned out to be true. So I'm texting him. I'm calling him. He's not answering. Mind you, he had to be at work early in the morning, like six or seven in the morning. So he would be up super, super early to get to work. And I knew he goes to sleep early. He goes to sleep like 10, some 11. But at this point, it was like eight or nine o'clock. So I'm texting him. He's not texting me back. I'm calling him. He's not calling me back. He's not answering the phone. He's not doing nothing. So I just found that very weird and suspicious. Like, what are you doing to where you can't pick up the phone? And then at this point, I already caught him cheating multiple times. So I already knew like, oh yeah, something is up for real because you're not answering the phone. And I didn't speak to him till the next morning. And this is how the conversation went the next morning. He just was texting me, having a normal conversation. He was like, my bad, I was asleep. And he was like, I got to tell you something, but don't be mad at me. And you know someone is saying like, don't be mad at me in front of something. That means they did something bad. And yeah, if something bad happened, something bad went down. So he said that I'm like, what's going on? What's happening? He did not want to tell me at all. Like when I say he didn't want to tell me at all, he didn't want to tell me at all. So I'm basically forcing it up out of him like, what's going on tell me what it is and what it's not so he was like so i gave this girl a ride i picked her up from whoever house her friend's house i think it was he said he picked her up from her friend's house and she said that could she go to his house to wait on her ride do that make sense to y'all it don't make sense to me it still don't make sense to me till this day she had to come to your house to get picked up like it just doesn't make sense so he said that he picked her up from her friend's house and he uh let her come into his apartment and she sat down on the couch and he went in the room that's what he claimed so he told me she was in the living room she didn't go in the room at all she was trying to have sex with him and he wasn't going for it because he was in a relationship with me so he wasn't trying to have sex with her because he was with me and he was trying to respect our relationship it's all like what are you talking about like what do you mean i thought he was joking and playing at first because he likes to play a lot and i thought he was really joking but he was serious i'm like what like i'm like it doesn't make any sense and find out because he was asleep 
and he didn't find out till the morning when he was trying to get up for work so he said she was trying to have sex with him he wasn't going for it she stayed in the living room waiting on her ride and he was in his room he went to sleep first of all why would you go to sleep knowing you got a hole in your house why would you do that why why <laughs> okay you said you didn't have sex with her y'all didn't have sex okay but it's like what like that doesn't make sense to me honestly i think this is what happened they was talking about having sex he picked her up they had sex he went to sleep stole his car and drove off that's what i think happened i don't care what he said i don't care what nobody say i feel like that's what happened and if it did it's just like you're sick and you're nasty she stole his keys and she got in his car she stole his car so when he woke up in the morning he looking for his keys everywhere he like i know i had them on the nightstand because that's where he keep his keys he like i know i had them there and i know i didn't misplace them so he looking every he's looking everywhere for his keys couldn't find them looked outside he walked outside actually and he seen that his car wasn't out there anymore <laughs> That is just crazy to me. So he called his mom. His mom was trying to help him find his car. They driving all around the city trying to find it. So then let's get to the point where he told me. So he text so he texted to me. He texted me that stuff. I went off on him. I said, that don't even make sense. Like, why would you pick her up and give her a ride and let her in the house? And I was just going off on him. Like I was mad, but I wasn't that mad because like whatever. At that point, I think I checked out of the relationship because if it was me now, I would have been like, F you, F that. Uh, that's what you get. That's what I did tell him that's what he get. Because why would you do that? That was dumb. But the me now, I would have cussed him out so bad. But I just did not even care anymore. I'm like, it's been stuff after stuff. Like, it's been stuff happening every single week. You've been cheating. You've been lying every single week. So I don't even care no more. And that's dumb on my end. I should have broke up with him the first time I caught him cheating. But no, my dumb self stayed. But you live and you learn and i've learned from that i have more respect for myself like i really stayed with him because i really did love him and care about him but at the end of the day somebody who loves you and care about you will not cheat on you will not lie to you will not pick people up will not do the stuff that he was doing to me so that's why i'd be like love me and stuff like that because it's like you didn't love me and i was a good girlfriend to him a great one at that the best he will ever have he will never in his life find somebody like me again when we first got into it about him cheating and i was like go find i was like you will never find another me and he was like yeah i know see he know what it is he know he will never find another ayana i mean nobody will ever find another me i'm one of a kind you would never find another me period and he knows that so it's like why would you mess that up but then on top of that when i say his family loves me like his family really do love me his mom loved me it's like why would you mess something up like that like why would you mess that up your family love me my family love you we love each other care about each other why and i'm a good girlfriend to you why would you mess that up it's crazy how when you break up with somebody they start acting different and doing stuff that they never did like it's just weird to me i don't understand but it's like do you but i know the real you and that's not how you are that's not how you act that's not what you do but continue to do you i mean you're single i'm single it is what it is i don't hate you it's no you know hard feelings or nothing i wish you the best and good luck with everything but me and him getting back together that would never happen and now i'm just being honest so then that same day i went over there and i helped him find his car like i was like where did you pick her up at from and we drove around to where he picked her up from we didn't see the car we didn't see the car at all y'all he still haven't found the car till this day he haven't he haven't found the car till this day and that's just crazy to me like you still haven't found the car you still don't have the car like that's just crazy to me he told me that his mom tried to help him find a car. I tried to help him find a car. He texted the girl. She blocked him. He was trying to text her. She blocked him on Instagram. She blocked him on Facebook. She blocked him on iMessage. And he uh, had my Instagram at the time. He was texting her off my Instagram like, don't be doing that. And I remember his sister got on live. She was talking about the situation. And he was mad about that because he don't want people to know. But it's like, 
Oh, well, you were the idiot who left somebody in your house and went to sleep and she stole your keys. Said he would have never thought she would do that because he been knowing her for years and been friends with her for years. I honestly think that's somebody he used to have sex with and she was mad that he didn't want to have sex with her. I mean, he probably is telling the truth. She probably was mad that he didn't want to have sex with her because he was respecting our relationship in a way, even though he still disrespected it by picking her up anyways without letting me know. Like, it was just weird. That situation had to happen at all. August. It had to happen in August. So he didn't have a car for August, September, or October. Yes, that's right. This situation happened in August. Actually, I'm I'm wrong. So this situation happened in August for two or three months. And y'all guess what I did? Me being a nice dumb girlfriend. I gave him another chance. I stayed with him. Not only did I give him another chance and I stayed with him, I also picked him up from work every single day. His aunt was taking him to work and his sister was taking him to work and I would pick him up from work. Mind you, his job is 25 minutes away from my house. It's all the way far out. And I went out of my way to pick him up every single day. I didn't miss a day. I only missed like two days because I had doctor's appointments and I couldn't go get them. But neither than that, I was there every single day picking him up. Even though he picked the girl up, let her in the house, she stole his keys, and all of this cheating and lying he done did to me, I still went out of my way for two months to pick him up from work. Crazy. Crazy. It's like the dumb things you would do for somebody that you love. Like, it's honestly sad, but like I said, you live and you learn, and I would never deal with this again, put up with this again. I would never deal with lying, cheating, or worse, ever. But rule number one, never fall in love with a hoe, never date a hoe, and yeah never never take a hoe serious play them how they try to play you period after the fact everybody was telling me that he was a hoe like where was y'all at when i popped out with him where was y'all at when we was in a relationship y'all should have been told me he was a hoe i didn't find out he was a hoe until i was in a relationship with him like where was y'all at Every single day from work taking him home and i stayed with him even though he did that like I was saying in part one, my family and friends don't even know this situation. So if y'all are watching this, I'm sorry. I didn't want to tell y'all because I was too embarrassed and too ashamed because I knew y'all would have been like, Yana, why are you staying with him? Yes, you love him and care about him, but you don't deserve to be with somebody that's a cheater. And I already know y'all gonna be like, yeah, he had sex with that girl. I already knew what y'all was gonna do and what y'all was gonna say and I didn't want to hear it. So I just made up a lie to my mom and I told her that his car got stolen. I told my mom that his car got messed up when in reality his car got stolen because he decided to pick a girl up and let her in the house and went to sleep and she took his keys. So I'm sorry to my family and friends I didn't tell y'all, but like I said, I was too embarrassed and too ashamed but i learned my lesson for the day and i was 19 but when we first met each other i was i was 18 yeah when we first met each other i was 18 but while we were dating i was 19 we stopped dating before my 20th birthday so i can't wait to find somebody that's better that treats me right I'm just happy that i'm not in that situation anymore because it was toxic it wasn't healthy it wasn't good. this is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy you guys give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down below subscribe for more comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see on my channel and i will do it for you guys and i will catch you guys in the next video period